Major wind gusts over the weekend kicked up visible amounts of dust from the shrinking Great Salt Lake. State officials say it can have an impact on all of our health. Fox 13 News political reporter Ben Winslow has the story from the Great Salt Lake. The Utah Department of Environmental Quality says increasing dust as a result of the dry lake bed is something we all need to be more aware of, especially as the Great Salt Lake continues to shrink, impacting air quality. We did see uh, dust impacts both in areas south and north of the Great Salt Lake. These time-lapse videos taken from Fox 13's cameras at the Natural History Museum of Utah and on top of the Ochre Mountains show the wind kicking up dust. Utah's Department of Environmental Quality says the bulk of that dust came from the West Desert. For those areas that uh, were downwind from the Great Salt Lake, we saw even additional dust there because of the exposed lake bed. That's something that concerns us, but uh, it is something that uh, is not unusual uh, with these strong storm events. The Great Salt Lake continues to shrink because of drought, climate change, and water diversion, exposing more and more lake bed. That impacts communities around it, picking up more dust, which contains trace amounts of metals and toxins. So we're concerned about uh, all levels of that. It is a fine particulate uh, that uh, can impact our respiratory system, so it's something we should avoid. And, and where we can't maybe um, do a lot to refill the Great Salt Lake right away. Uh, as people are more aware of those conditions, as they see those high wind warnings and they're impacted by the dust, of course, uh, move that exposure or re reduce that exposure by moving exercise indoors. The Utah State Legislature advanced a series of water conservation measures and funding to get more water into the Great Salt Lake. Those are just starting to go into effect. You can't talk about the Great Salt Lake without talking about air quality, and you can't talk about the air quality on the Wasatch Front without looking to the Great Salt Lake. But environmental Metal groups like O2 Utah say more can be done. They're rallying support for legislation to cut emissions in half by 2030 and provide water for the lake. A bill will be introduced on Capitol Hill next year. If we can transfer over that energy into renewable resources, into um, smart city growth for homes and buildings, we will likely see increased water supplies in those tributaries and into lakes like the Great Salt Lake across the state. And Utah's Department of Natural Resources says we may just be a few weeks away from the lake hitting a new historic low. At the Great Salt Lake, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.